Hi, I'm Paris, and have you got your masks yet? I've got two. I think each member of my family has two, and they're great for going over to the supermarket for an hour, for going out for a walk in case you pass by some people on the street. But are the masks you have something you'd want to wear for eight hours a day? Because that's coming, if it isn't already a feature of your life, workplaces are going to require masks, and when the kids go back to school in the fall, which I believe they will, they're going to need masks too. Now my short-term mask solutions have been a neck gaiter that I wear stretched out from my neck up over my nose right across here, and a very nice cloth face mask made by my daughter's Girl Scout troop leader and her daughter. They made them for the families of everyone in the troop. So nice of them. They're very clever. They got some material, sewed it. There's room to put something in the middle if you want to filter in there, and they used shoelaces for the part that you'll wear to tie around your ears or around the back of your head. All very clever, all very good with things that you have at home to make the mask, but an hour spent at the supermarket a couple days a week is so different from 40 hours a week of wearing something. Will this be comfortable wearing it all week long, day after day? I'm worried these might not be, and in fact my wife who works at an essential business her company issued masks to all the employees and after two days there were so many complaints about them that, that now they're looking for another style, something more ergonomic, something more comfortable to wear all day long. So to try to find something more comfortable for my wife to wear and thinking ahead to my kids going back to school in the fall, we could wait and maybe there will be school issued masks or new designs or in the fall masks may be the new toilet paper. So I thought I better get on this now and I suggest you do too. So I went researching, reading up on masks, finding out what's available and still affordably priced. And I wanted to share the results of my research with my favorite subscribers because if you haven't started going through this, think ahead, you probably will. And the places that I've ordered some sets from, I don't have any to show you today. I'll, I'll show you where I found them online if you'd like to order them as well. But they are between two and six weeks out before I'll even get delivery. And that's right now at the start of this craziness because think about the masks. Okay, so I find one that I like. Well, that's great and I can wear it all day long. But after wearing it all day long, breathing into it, it's got moisture, it's got my own bacteria, it's got who knows whatever from outside, wherever it is that I've been, am I going to want to take that off at the end of the day and stick it in my pocket or for a woman stick it in the purse and then the next morning put the soggy thing back on your face? That just seems like a recipe for unpleasant respiratory things to happen. So you're going to want to have a mask for each day. So going to work five days a week, okay, you need at least five masks. Well, those masks are going to go in the laundry at the end of the week. So what are you going to do on Saturday, Sunday? Well, you better get a couple more masks. And before you know it, a family of four is probably going to need to have at least about 30 masks. Now, without trying them on first, I'm not sure which materials, which styles the wife and kids will actually like, so I ordered a few of each, so we'll have something, but I'm afraid by the time we get them, try them on and say, okay, let's order 30 of these, it might be months before we'll be able to get them. Here's the most useful article I found on the web about buying a face mask it's on Forbes magazine called, Here's Where You Can Buy a Face Mask Online Right Now. And I'll link to this article in the description box right down below the video. Now remember, you're wearing these types of masks so you don't infect other people and also so they allow you into the store and allow you to go to work because it's be quickly becoming mandatory that you have them. These aren't the masks that medical folks for the most part wear because they're wearing masks that protect them against inhaling the virus particles. What you're concerned with is you don't want to be exhaling them when you are sick and you don't realize it. So be clear on that distinction. You don't want to be buying the types of masks that they need in the hospitals. This type of mask is meant for people to wear to work and to wear to school. Now for the most part, these masks are being made by clothing manufacturers who are shifting over some of their production to making masks. So these are people with the know-how in fabrics and sewing and all of that. And there are different designs. Three of them especially stood out to me, but maybe you'll like some of the others. So be sure and check them all out at the article. The first ones I ordered to try out are the Onesie Mindful Masks. A two-pack goes for $24. So these are a little on the pricey side, $12 each. What I like about them is they're made from a folded over, I guess, lycra spandex type material. So they are kind of stretchy. It's the one thing I like about the neck gaiter is that it does sort of seal itself around my face. So that's one advantage of having a stretchy type material over having just a plain cotton mask. Now these will probably be the first masks that will arrive. It says it takes uh, five to ten days for them to ship, so I'll probably have them in early May. 
The next mask that I ordered several to try out are the Stace Face Protective Face Mask from Alice and Olivia. They go for $10 each and you can see the pattern on there. A couple things I like about these masks. They're also stretchy. They're made with 96% viscose, which I think is a bamboo uh, renewable type of material. So, and they, they are stretchy. Also for every cloth mask they sell, they're donating a mask to a community in need. However, my order of these masks, it's actually more of a pre-order. May 30th, they're expected to start shipping them. So I should get these in early June. Now the first two masks, if they turn out to be far and away the most comfortable, I will definitely be wearing them. Though the first one comes in sort of more leopard colory prints and the second one has that woman's face imprinted on it. So I wanted to find something I would prefer to wear. And the very last one on the page is the Foco Sports Team Face Masks which uh, you get a three pack for $13. Now that's pretty good. And these are more generic USA type design, but the company also sells masks with the uh, different sports teams, logos and names on them. They cost a fair bit more. I think they're about $25, $26 for a three pack of those, but you can take heart in knowing that a substantial portion of that fee for the licensing is going to support a professional sports team in need. And these generic USA and sports team masks are also pre-orders. The generic ones will ship no later than May 15th. And some of the sports teams I noticed don't ship until June 1st. And in case something happens to that Forbes article, I'll link directly to the pages where you can see those masks that I've ordered. Now, as they come in, I'll do follow-up reviews here, try wearing them for a day and let you know how they are. I know I'm not gonna like all of them, so it seems a little wasteful to order some that we probably won't wear, but when we find the one that we really like, we'll probably end up ordering a bunch of them. And sort of just like with toilet paper masks, it's better to have a little bit more than you need than not quite enough. My advice is to get on the mask shopping now or a couple months from now, you may really wish you had if it turns out you're gonna to have to wait six months before they start shipping and probably order a few different types because without trying them on first, you really won't know which one fits your face and will be comfortable for all day wearing. If you'd like to see my follow-up videos of the masks that I ordered, be sure and click subscribe down below and I'll see you on the next review.